so perfect. I can get it off my mind. So I have verified that the Virago runs and it has come that time where I need to design the future for the build and I need to actually kind of visualize it and put it into like a tangible kind of photo that I can replicate on the actual build. And so that's what we're doing today. I took some photos of it that I actually still need to put on the computer. Um, and I actually did get the main parts for the build as well. So uh, it's exciting times, all the parts are coming in and we actually get to start working and doing this. So this is pretty exciting. So today we're gonna to be designing this thing in Photoshop, um, mocking it up, getting it all uh, getting it all pretty so that we can know what we're gonna do on this build. So that's what we're doing today. I did actually get some parts though, as I just mentioned. So um, I do wanna show them to you guys. So this is the seat. This is the bobber seat that we're gonna be using for the build. I actually did stick it on the Virago already and it actually fits up really well already. So we just kinda of need to make some little points to mount it but um, the general shape of the seat pan for the, the frame of the bike, it actually fits this really well. So that's awesome. <laughs> so we'll see what we do with that. I also did get the new levers and the brake reservoir. Um, these are the same ones I used on the CX-500. I love them and they're very inexpensive and they look really good and they're like high quality material. So. Uh, I decided to go with these ones again. Um, so that was the brake lever. And here is the clutch lever. So yeah, yeah, not bad. These again are like $33 or something for both of them. And it has the cylinder on it, the master cylinder. So can't complain. That is the levers. I also got a brand new satin black LED with a halo ring light headlight um, so this is this is awesome and this was only I think this was in the $20 range and uh, it's actually high quality it's not plastic it's it's metal and it's already painted and everything it's got a hole for all the electronics to go in so uh, I'm really hoping I like it but right now it's like for 20 bucks <laughs> you can't really beat it so yeah and it's got a halo light so that's gonna look pretty sweet I hope um, so that's the headlight and the last thing that I got in is the handlebars. These are just the drag bars and it's gonna look like, it's gonna look really cool on the, when it's a bobber, it's gonna give it the perfect look as far as handlebars and levers go. It's gonna be awesome. So, so that's what I have right now. Those are the main parts. Basically those are the parts that really set the look of the bike. It's the handlebars where the position, the look of the handlebars, the levers, cause that's really what you see when you're looking at the bike and the seat and the headlight. That's really what's gonna shape the bike into a really cool bobber build. I'm gonna be adding those parts onto the bobber today in Photoshop so we can actually visualize for the first time what this bike is gonna look like. I already know what it's gonna look like in my mind. At least I have a few different concepts, but I'm gonna put it on paper today and that's what we're here for. So let's do it. As you can see, yeah, the, the seat really does match up fairly well already. There will definitely have to be a little bit of modifications, of course. So let's also just tweak this here just a tad slight bit and make the bike a little bit more prominent. Okay, great. All right, that will do it. Let's open that up. Cool. All right, here she is. So I'm just going to get right to work. I don't want to bore you guys to death. I'm just going to do a time lapse of this whole thing for you guys. I might have a little bit of input here and there, but probably not that much. I'm just gonna get to work. So this bike is going to have a partial rear fender. Uh, I definitely want to have a little bit of a rear fender because bobbers like this especially, if you drive through any kind of puddle or water, even dust and rocks and stuff will fly up and hit you on the back really hard. Um, so you definitely want a fender of some sort on, uh, on bobbers. Unless you do it with Dan, then I mean, you don't need one, but. 
Now the tail light, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. There are lights on Amazon that, um, just like turn signal lights, that actually function as the brake light, tail light, running light, and turn signals. So I might use those, and that might look pretty cool instead of having like a dedicated rear light. I really wanted to use the tail light strip that I usually use. I love those things, but, um, but I think this one won't be able to do that. But we'll see when it actually comes time to do that. The build does kind of change as it goes on because some things work better than others with how the bike is built. Um, so we'll see. Tentatively though, this is what I want to do with it. And this is what it's going to generally look like when it's all said and done. So at this point in the Photoshop design, I need to start doing the color scheme. And I have two different color schemes for this in mind. Um, you're gonna hate me for one of them, but the first one is um, black, like a satin black, very classic, like dark, dark gray. And, um, and maybe white wall the tires with some like um, lettering, tire lettering, I'm not sure. That would look awesome black forks, black everything, but it's satin black, so it's really clean. The same color as this headlight. Um, and that would look awesome if the whole bike was this color. Um, no denying it, that would look really cool. But the second one I have in mind is white and red and black. <laughs> I know, I do that for every build, I know, I get it, but there's something about that color scheme that everybody likes. It's like a universally accepted color scheme and I actually talked to a lot of people uh, even Centurion Rides he uh, was telling me about getting his Harley he just got a Harley and he was like but yeah and I and maybe it was years back I can't remember but he told me he really had his eye on like the white version of it and so it's something about the white color scheme that everybody loves and I love it too I mean personally satin white on bikes is so clean and it's, it's out of the ordinary. I mean, everybody does satin black or matte black or whatever, especially for bobber builds. That's like way overdone. And so I don't wanna to be too generic. And, and so I like to do things out of the box a little bit. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll do both color schemes here in Photoshop. I bet I'm gonna like the white a lot more. Uh, <laughs> But maybe I'll get you guys opinions. Uh, just let me know what you guys prefer down in the description. I mean, down in the comments. And uh, so yeah, now's the time to do it though. So let's, let's leave you guys back to the time lapse and we'll get this thing knocked out. All right guys, so I just finished the design. So we're looking at the before image right now and it's gonna look a whole lot different. Let's take a look. See, I started by removing all the stuff that we didn't need and here we go. I'll show you the black design first. So again, I said I was gonna do like a satin black color scheme. And so here it is, satin black, and then the accessories right there. Um, I think that is absolutely stunning for this bike. It looks awesome. And I think this is probably what I'm gonna end up going with. But before I say that, here's the white design that I also designed right there. And that's the white design. Both of them are equally as good in their own way. <laughs> I'll post both of these to Facebook. Um, you guys just let me know which one you prefer. There's the black again, and there's the white. So you guys just let me know. I'm, I honestly have no clue what I'm gonna do. I think I might, looking at the white though, it's just so clean, I love it. Looking at the black though, it's just beast. So I don't know, you guys let me know what you think, but at least now we have a base that we can kind of start the build and start cutting things off, adding things on, and uh, go from there. But 
It's shaping up to be an awesome looking bike and I'm super excited. All right guys, that is it. So let me know what you guys think about both these designs in the comments below. I am so torn which direction I want to go with it. So let me know what you guys think, but until next time, I will see you in the next video.